I want to talk about faith and the key point to faith. So let's go to Hebrews 11 and 1. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when is faith? Faith is now. What is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So since you can't see it, since you can't see it and you have to hope for it, that means that you have to use faith. If you could see it, if you had it, then why would you need faith? Does that make any sense? Okay. Pop my neck right quick. Okay. So, the key point to faith is not getting your prayers answered. The key point to faith, the key point to faith is believing in God even when it seems like your prayers are not getting answered. There is so much power just by believing in God. Many people don't understand this. Some people may say, hey, if my prayers don't get answered, that must mean that my faith is not good enough or I have no faith. That is not true. You don't have faith when you stop believing. You don't have enough faith when you stop believing. But if you are continuing to believe, whether your prayers get answered or not, you still have faith. Does that make any sense? Once again, the key point to faith is not getting your prayers answered. The key point to faith is believing in God no matter what. From what the Bible says, it only takes a mustard seed of faith to do great things. Do you know how small a mustard seed is? Like so small. So it really does not take much faith to do something. For instance, back in the past, I used to go to the emergency room maybe about at least three times a year back in the past. You know, it was for my asthma, sinuses, so on and so on. It was really crazy. Back then I was in sin as well. So I started to research about God and change my ways. and. I started to find out about how God can heal us, faith, and things of that nature. So I started to pray over myself. I got tired taking medication and aspirin and stuff like that. So every time around that time period when I would get sick, or headaches and stuff like that, I would touch where I was sick at or where I was in pain. You know, sometimes I would get pain in my my legs and knees and back and, and wrist and everywhere, my neck and stuff like that. So what I would do, I would place my hand where I was sick or hurt at, for instance, if I had a headache, I would touch my head and say, in the name of Jesus, I am healed now. Would I get healed that instant? Of course not. The key point to faith is not getting your prayers answered, but believing in God. You must remember that. So sometimes it would take a day or two days, a week, so on and so on, even when I would get sick. 
Sometimes it would take a week to get healed or more. Does that make any sense? The key point to faith is not getting your prayers answered, but believing in God no matter what happens. Even now, when I pray now, there are some prayers I don't think was answered yet because I don't see it. But with faith, meaning now, it already has been answered. I just don't see it yet. So I am continuing to believe until it happens. And I have been receiving confirmation on prayers that have been answered. This is faith. When you start to understand what faith is, I'm telling you, things are going to go a lot better for you. So what is the key point to faith? It is not getting your prayers answered. It is believing in God no matter what happens. It only takes a mustard seed of faith. A mustard seed size of faith. That is extremely small. Extremely. Think about that. It takes a little bit to do so much. So if your prayers have not been answered, as you say, continue to believe. Is it hurting you? How much are you paying? Nothing. How does it hurt to continue to believe in God? It is much easier to believe than to give up. So whatever you have been praying for, and you may have given up, don't give up, go back to it, continue to pray and believe. God is not always going to answer your prayers just like that. Many of the time, he is going to make you wait because how long are you going to keep your faith for? How long? If your prayers don't get answered within a time period you believe it should be answered, are you going to give up? Many people do, or some people do. So God is going to make you wait until you prove to him that, hey, I am going to hold on no matter what. Then perhaps he will answer your prayers much more quickly. Think about that. God can answer your prayers so fast. He can, if he wanted to. But how is that going to increase your faith? Or what is that going to do to your faith? Sometimes we have to go through hard times to get stronger. Sometimes. So we are going to be tested in this life. So your prayers are not going to be answered, you know, <laughs> so fast. <laughs> Think about that. So believe in God no matter what. Let me say this. When I pray, I pray about the same things almost every single time. I am not going to give up. Why? It is not hard to believe. <laughs> I know that there is a God, right? I know what faith is, right? I know that I am being tested, right? So why am I going to give up? Think about that. What am, what am I paying to pray? Nothing. What do I have to give 
to believe nothing I just have to believe so who is really doing all the work God what am I doing believing so if I believe God is going to do the rest now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so all I have to do is believe in God and walk in that <laughs> does that make any sense all I have to do is believe, and God is going to take care of the rest. So if I am praying to God, believing that He that He has healed me, you know, I touch my head and I say, In the name of Jesus I am healed, why should I take medication after that? If I believe that I am healed now because faith is now so whether I feel healed that does not matter because by faith it means now so you have to act upon your faith if you take medication and say that you are healed I don't know how that works I could be wrong about that I could be wrong but when you believe that you are healed, why are you going to take something for it? Like, if you are not sick, why are you going to drink cough syrup? Like, hey, I am healed, so why are you taking aspirin if you are healed? Well, I just like taking aspirin. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just like taking aspirin, right? Okay. <laughs> I am healed, but I am going to take this aspirin right now. Why? Why are you taking aspirin or cough syrup when you say that you are healed? Because if you were really healed in real life, would you take aspirin? Of course not. Would you take cough syrup? Of course not. So that means that you are not really believing in what you are saying. Or you are crazy. One or uh, one or the other Ooh, my lord so really take heed to this god bless